I, so I got here. The thing what we were talking about with going to GameStop was because I, the plan was go to Keith's house, knock out all the pre GameCube Mario games that we still have left to do, um, and then the next one, the next step would be all question marks, and the step after that would say profit. Uh, but the problem was that I forgot the GameCube with the Game Boy Advance player at home because I'm a dummy. Yep. Uh, and then I realized I didn't have enough Wii U controllers to play two-player Mario Tennis. So I used that as an excuse to finally get a Wii U Pro controller. Uh, but then while I was there, I noticed that they put out um, a 30th anniversary um, Amiibo for Link where it's like the... 3D blocky 8-bit sprite thing, like with the Mario one. Um, and I was like... Wow, wait, hold yeah. on. I have to interrupt you. Because the tennis rules for a ball hitting you are not... Not only was I wrong, but these rules are draconic. They're <laughs> crazy. Yeah, so here's a here's a, 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 a an FAQ on like a tennis site. Yesterday I was playing doubles with my regular partners when a ball flew very close to my face. The woman facing me on the opposite side... Of the net wanted to know if the ball had touched me. Would we have lost the point if I got hit with the ball? Answer, yes. A player would lose the point if they are hit by the ball. Any ball that hits a player before it bounces is a loss of point for that player, no matter where the player is standing, even outside the lines. If a ball hits you, you should admit it to your opponents. So if you're out of bounds, clearly out of bounds, and the ball hits you out of bounds, you it is still a point for the other side. Eh, that's crazy. I, that doesn't bother me that much. No, it bothers me a ton. Amiibo! Amiibo! Here's the thing. Here's why I think this is a problem. Because in the game, right, the, <clears throat> you launch the ball and it fucking shotguns right at, into the person's face who's like right at the net, Which right? One? And it's like, yay! This is my unlockable. What, is what are you doing? When you, when you assign an Amiibo... You get a new amiibo, you tap it on your thing and set it up as your amiibo, and then it gives you a little random bit from a Nintendo game. Do you know what amiibo should do? Let you play this, The Legend of Zelda? Oh, 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 oh. Uh, unlock alternate power-up costumes in Super Mario Maker? No, that's not what it is. Oh. Here's what they should do. When you get an amiibo for like a classic game, they should just give you that game on Virtual Console. Because, well, like, what? Like, because that's, that's a free resource for them. Uh, I don't disagree uh, with that idea. The only problem, I think, is, like, you couldn't do that for every Amiibo because you have, like, multiple per game and stuff, and then, like... No, you're right. An but amiibo, on games you an amiibo that, that wouldn't for. give you a new game would have like inherently less value. No, no, no. But but here's the thing. But I mean, isn't this kind of what you're saying? Except that, you get a little bit instead of a whole game. The thing, but the well, this is this is what I'm saying. So the game that they couldn't. So for Zelda, they should just give you an entire old Zelda game, just an old ass Zelda game, right? And then for a for a, a uh, for an amiibo that like doesn't have a game that's available on Virtual Console or is, like, too big of a game for them to just give to you, make a little fucking mini game that you get. You just get this, this mini game. This is the mini game. No, no. It's but, like, for this Amiibo, you should get the whole fucking thing. So, he, but for like, I mean, uh, to, be, to be honest, and, like, I'm not trying... This isn't me defending Nintendo. I'm just explaining. Yeah. Is that, like, so much of Nintendo's value and how they make their money is yeah. wrapped up in reselling old things to people. So, like, if you start giving that shit away, like, that's your fucking bread and butter out the window. That's true, but how how much is an Amiibo? 15 bucks? 12 bucks. 12 bucks? How much are those games on the Virtual Console? Um, depends on the platform, but an NES game is 5 bucks. Yeah, so that's... Boom. Instead of somebody buying this game for 5 bucks, they go to the store and buy a physical piece of plastic... For twelve bucks, yeah, but they can get. But Nintendo knows that they can get you coming and going if they don't give it to you. Cause, cause, cause. I guess, but I, I don't know. I feel like more people would go out and buy the amiibo then, cause it's like, well, I might as well get the amiibo. And I, but I have multiple scenes though, so I can tap again, and now I'm. I just skipped straight to the boss, cause fuck it. That is pretty cool. You get eight of these. Yeah, That's the, the cool. only thing is this one, I think, you know, is game-specific because you're getting, like, the 
uh, 8-bit Link amiibo, so it's giving you this game. But normally it's like random, so I'll like tap on like some Mario amiibo, and it's like, here's Kirby's Adventure! Which I think is lame. I think it should always be specific to the series of the amiibos from. Got it. Next one. Dude, I know how well amiibos sell. I worked at GameStop. Yeah, they. Oh, you don't. They, you they do not have to sell. explain to me how how well amiibos sell. And I don't know the argument. Wait, of was like, I that's explaining that to you? Was that? Was I explaining that to you? No, no. Tooth said it in the chat. Oh, oh. They said okay. keep the amiibos sell really well. Um. Yeah. I mean, I guess that's the real truth is they don't have to give you shit because everyone's already buying them. Right. I don't know. I'm like. I guess I, I'm not. I'm not. I get all the reasons why they don't. I'm just saying, like, I'm not concerned about Nintendo not making enough money. Like, that's not like they're... <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, no, no one is. Uh, or they shouldn't be. I <laughs> like, I understand that they're, they are, right? But, like, the, the argument of, like, well, they don't give you more stuff because it would, like, they wouldn't make as many billions of dollars. Yeah. And I'm like, oh, okay, great, sure. Oh, this is the fastest I've ever gotten through The Legend of Zelda. This is great. And that's the other thing, is that you, you say Amiibo sell really well. When they first came out, it was really hard to find certain ones anywhere. That's to say that. the Those are two separate issues. They do sell yeah, really yeah. well, but the reason you couldn't find them was because they didn't want you yeah, to they, find them. They, that's an yeah. artificial scarcity. They can make as many as they want. They just choose to make yeah, them that's, less. Yeah, that's their whole jam. Yeah. Um... So what they're do they're doing is essentially taking advantage of consumers to make their products worth more. Yeah, that's the that's the game they're playing. Let's just do it. Let's just bang it out. I feel like we haven't talked this much about like actual like video game shit in so long. Yeah, I think it was really in me because I've actually uh... this is we you know we're. We, I, ha we have a podcast bubbling inside of us is what's happening. Yeah, th that's literally what's what's going on with me right now. Because I think I started to say this earlier but didn't get to it. Was that I basically didn't listen to the Giant Bomb cast from like May until two weeks ago. And then shotgunned like five, six months of podcasts yeah. all at once. So now I'm just like, ah, podcast talking about games. We're going to talk about games all the time. Why don't we ever podcast anymore? We got a podcast. Talk about games. Yeah, man. I mean, I was talking when you were ignoring me when I was like going in depth about why about like the Google Home and how I, I feel like it might help me like do stuff better. Um, Fuck. Uh, one of the things was like trying to be better about like managing my time and like when I'm doing stuff. Wow. I, don't know if I'm, I don't know if I'm talking about this, Kyle. Explain, explain as you understand it my sleeping habits. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, good. Uh, uh, this, yeah, I don't think this was ever recorded anywhere, but like uh, within the past couple weeks, I was at Keith's house at night and he yeah. went to take a nap at like 1130 at night. Like not I'm going to bed, but like I'm taking a nap so that I can get up later and keep and keep going. Like I understand your sleeping habits to be like utter nonsense. Like yeah. just... You you don't live in any real time or place, right? So for the last, I'll say for the last week, well, for the last week, I've been going to bed between midnight and two in the morning. Fuck. As opposed to like five in the morning, so okay. midnight between midnight and two in the morning. That's like almost normal. Yeah, and waking up at like what the fuck? Waking up between six thirty and seven thirty, and like oh, I can use this normal control, like. Doing things that I would never was able to do before, like yeah. have enough time before work to like, like, yeah, uh, like it. It makes you sound like a total old man, but you know what? Waking up at a normal time in the morning and like having enough time to do stuff before you have to do other stuff is like totally it's sweet. Great. Here's what it is: it it feel it's it accomplishes the same goal as when I was younger and I would stay up late. And so I got in the habit of staying up late, but staying up late lost its function, which was like having a like quiet setting where no one else was around to doing anything to just like have to myself. Where now, like at night, everybody that I know is up and doing human stuff because that's when people are up now. I, I where at not... six in the morning, no one's up. Oh, shit. So that's the new. 
that's the new no one's up time is waking up early not going to bed late yeah. the, the, so, so I've been waking up early I've been eating breakfast which I don't usually do I've been like taking the time to do my like to brew my coffee in the way that takes long but it's uh, that I like a lot I've been like shaving <laughs> <laughs> what and like yeah like I have time to like shave uh, instead of like once a week like every every day pretty much um uh, and like do, like editing videos, like I'll wake up in the morning and edit like two or three nice. videos. Can I tell you what? Can Keith? Yeah. If you can, yeah, get someone else yeah. to edit all your Let's Play videos for you, uh -huh. it is so nice. You're saying this about like you? You're saying you got me to do all of it? Well, and it's so nice. No, I'm not saying I got you to do it. I'm just saying if you can do it. Uh -huh. It's really nice. Yeah. Here's the thing. Imagine imagine that we had like a ton of money from doing run button stuff. Okay. That's hard I to imagine. don't like even if we had the money to do it, I don't think I would want to get to the point where we had somebody else editing the videos besides either of us. Mm, well, I just don't trust anybody. I barely trust you. Yeah, well you. that's that's you what I was barely gonna, trust me. I yeah, I I'll almost sure. would go as far as to say that I don't trust you. Yeah. Uh I yeah, so it would have to be somebody that I, that I would trust. But there, there isn't one. There yeah, isn't exactly. Something. But I guess the, the difference is that if it's an actual employee, you don't need to trust them. The trust is if they don't do a good job, you fire them and get someone else until you get the someone who does a job that's satisfactory to you. I, I guess. guess I'm just too much of a control freak. We both are. Yeah. So here are my other game bits. I got Is Mario that what they're called? One. Game bits? Game, I guess so. It, or it just says, Tap Amiibo, Nintendo's Greatest Bits. Um, yeah. Well, because cause here's the thing. I'm still talking about... I want to talk about my schedule still. Huh. Yeah, sorry. Aw, oh, shit. What? Like, I think it's saying, like, hey, put on this amiibo to play this bit, but I don't know what amiibo it's for because it's not a Metroid amiibo because I don't have any of those, but I didn't give it a nickname, so I just have no idea what it is. Do you have the amiibo with you? No. Well, then you couldn't do it anyway. Well, yeah, but I didn't know that. Um... I didn't fucking know that. So, uh, piece oh, of I have some shit. Amiibos. Do you want to? Do you want to do some amiibos? No, I have a couple. No, nah, I'm good. I have a Pikachu. Nah. I've got uh Splatoon ones. I got those. Okay. I don't. I'm good, man. Um. Yeah. So like, I I my what I had been doing was like I would come home from work and I would have like just enough energy to edit one or two videos. Uh, before I was like, now I need to stop doing work because I've been at work all day. Uh, now that I'm able to, to edit videos before work, I can do like a lot more. I get a lot more done because I'm not tired yet because I just had a night's sleep. Yeah. And then when I am tired later on, like, too bad, fucker, you're at work and you can't leave. Like, when I'm at home, I can always stop working. When I'm at work, I can't stop working because I'm there. I'm, at, I'm there and I have a boss. Yeah. Um. See, the problem with me is that with uh, with the kids, I really don't get to have any time where I get to relax and do whatever I want until they're in bed. So, like, my uh, relax, do whatever I want time is firmly in the 8 p.m. and later category. Yeah. So, like, with my new job, it's a job that is better if I started early in the morning. So, it would be better for me to go to sleep earlier at night, but I just can't because then I have less, fr like, I have permanently less free time if I do that. Mm hmm like I, there's no way for me to make it up elsewhere. You know basically. what? You're gonna have, how much? How many hours of sleep do you get a night? Like six on a good night, probably. Okay, then never mind. Okay. I was just I was gonna be like, we'll just get used to getting less sleep. I was gonna be like, don't don't get eight hours, get six hours. Boom, two more hours. Yeah. But you're already getting six hours. Yep. I feel like I feel like there's a lot of people that sleep too much. Um, I think a lot of people growing up always heard like eight's the number, right? Like eight's the number of yeah. hours of sleep. Well, I I mean I think it's. I think it's been proven it's the amount that you should get. No, no. What's actually been proven is oh? that everybody Are has a different... Are you about to blow my mind? Yeah. Er, guess what? Oh, Everybody's every... body yeah. is different, and they all need different things. And so ah. some people some people need eight hours of sleep. Some people need ten hours of sleep. Some people need five hours of sleep. I need... I think I'm one of the eight-hour people, though. Is the, That's the problem. Yeah. Is that I don't think I'm getting enough. I need... I think my ideal hours of sleep is probably between six and seven and a half 
and I think that I'm most functional at set like seven hours of sleep. So if I get six hours of sleep consistently, that's not like I'm not really hurting myself. Like that's fine. That's totally functional. And then when I have a day off, I can just sleep extra that day. Um, that seems that's that's kind. Of, I I've been doing it in a healthier way, but that's kind of what I've been doing for like a few years now. Is like get get not enough sleep, and then when I have a day off, just sleep extra, and then it sort of catches me up for a few yeah. Days. Again, don't get to do that. What's that? I don't get to do that. It sucks. Um, what the fuck? Why won't you bounce me? Fuck you! I'm what sure, is this? I'm sure there's a way you could figure out to do that. Well, I guess really the way is like you make an agreement with your partner. Like you do the. Oh, that's the search. Yeah. Rush search. Got it. Just be like, hey, mo yeah. Mondays are the day that I need you to let me sleep two hours more or an hour and a half more. Yeah. It just. I don't know. I mean, I think everybody should be doing less. Everybody's doing too much work. Yes. And I want to talk because I do more. I do so much. I do so much work all the time. Yeah. But um, this this new job that I got is is turn out pretty good. You like so, it? Are yeah. you better at driving the truck? Yes. Um, I'm much better at driving. Dude, you have no idea how much I want a job where I can have headphones in. <laughs> yeah. It's like yeah. so. I miss it's. I miss delivering pizzas so much because I could just like, like. It, yep. All of the driving time was just me time. Yep. I love me time. Yep. The the truck driving thing, it's like, it's not as much me time because driving that truck is such like a horrible, miserable experience, but I it's becoming less miserable. Yeah, I'm sure that that's the sort of thing where like, you know, given a few months, it's not going to be second nature, but it's not going to be a struggle. Yeah. Um, and it's, I mean, it's already, I don't know if I'd call it a struggle a even time. at this point, but... The real, the real thing that sucked was I actually started doing, like, uh, my own, like, solo in-car podcast. Uh, but I can't really do that in the truck because the truck... Jesus Christ. Jesus fucking Christ. I was, I was about to say the truck is so loud, but I think the truck is here in this room. You know, when I was a kid in school and I had to blow my nose... Because I have severe allergies, so I have to blow my nose a lot. I would get in trouble for blowing my nose because teachers thought I was doing it for attention. And I wasn't doing it for attention, but I did get attention, and I did like the attention. <laughs> <laughs> but I wasn't doing it for attention. I was doing it because I had a stuffy nose. Keith, you know what these guys are called? Shield boys? These are sniper joes. Really? Uh-huh. Ooh, I'm here. Why are they called that? Because they have a gun. Yeah, they all have a gun. They don't all have a gun. They pretty much it's all have a gun. It's Spring Man, I assume. It's been a while since I played this game. No, this is Slinky Guy. What should we try? How about T-Bolt? Whoa. Whoa. Hey, bud. Hey, bud. That didn't seem to do shit. Wow, you just got ruined. Yeah, just got rizzacked. I like those little acorns up there. Those are Mets. They're acorns. They're Mets. They wear Did helmets. You know some people think it's an egg corn. Nobody thinks that. Some people say egg corn. No one says that. Some people say that. No one says that. They say it. Here's how I I'm learned. I'm telling you say that, that. that no one says that. Here's how I learned that people said that because egg corn. In addition to being the thing that some people think an acorn is called, is what people refer to as any word, uh, <clears throat> any word that people phonetically oh, really? misinterpret with a different spell. That's great. Yeah. So are you, like, why are you uh, being sarcastic? I'm not. Oh, you weren't. Okay. No. So like, um, so, oh. so like uh, when you're playing uh, a MOBA and you need to unleash your alt, is Ooh. that an egg corn? Yeah, that's an egg corn. Great. Yeah, or that's, um, that's great. Uh, uh, wait, shit! I'm like blanking on like the one that I just had in the can. Um, ooh, I should oh, probably do for that. For all one. intensive purposes, oh. that's an egg corn. <laughs> that's an egg corn. I hate that so much. Ooh, do that Super Saiyan. Play, do fight Go Tanks. Oh. <laughs> Look at him! 
That is Wolverine Go Tanks. That I mean, yeah, that's basically what the, that's SSJ two Wolverine. Yep. What the? You can't do that, Kyle. You know what we need? What? We need more people to sign up for the game. Quest. <laughs> Why? <laughs> because it's it's helpful to have more money. Yeah. Uh, drive an oil delivery truck. No. Okay. How much money do you make? I mean, still no, but... I don't know if I want to say it on a video. Why not? I don't know. It just seems personal. It's not. Okay. I make $21 an hour. Okay, that's good. <laughs> yeah. And and it's like... Uh, I make like $18 an hour on a good day, but like 15 or 16 I think is my average. What What's great is that... Uh, I don't, I don't usually, like, there's extra work always available, and I'm usually a person that never takes the extra work, but it's such an easy job that I can easily work, like, 10 or 11 hours without, like, with it feeling more like I was working eight hours. Right. I have, I have found that when you get to do something that you like on your off time, uh, like, on yeah. your work time, it makes it go by, like, the, the idea... Ah! The idea that I can listen, to, and I said this already, because I, I can't get over it because it's so true. Yeah. Like, just just the act of being able to listen to a podcast while you're working, and that being fine, like, makes me so much more productive and so much more capable of working longer totally, hours. Yeah, like, the, the first couple days I did the oil delivery, I was, like, completely miserable, and it was because, like... The whole thing was so new to me and occupying so much of my mental capacity that I just didn't even get around to like listening to a thing yeah. on my headphones. And like the third day, I spent the whole day listening to a podcast, and it was like a hundred times better that day. Yeah. Uh huh. And it's like um, most jobs that you go to, and you know this is obvious. This is obviously by design, but uh, like most bosses are pretty keen on like. You're at work 100% of the time that you're at work, you have to spend working. Yeah. Right? Like, I'll be at work, and it will be super crazy busy for three hours, and then it finally starts to slow down, ah! and it'll take a fucking second to just, like, stand around I and, know. and catch up, and they'll be like, isn't there something you'd be cleaning? And I'm like, fucking, yeah. I just spent God, it's just, forever it's working just my ass work. off while you sat around Worse. in the back room. Like, I can't, like... You cannot expect people to be working 100% of the time that they're at work. That's going to create a bunch of bad workers. Um, so, like, when you when you have a job or have a boss that lets you, like, that understands that and yeah, understands totally. that the key to having, like, workers that are happy and productive is to not yell at them when they're taking a second to, like, cool down. Yeah. Um, so podcasts are great for that shit. Mm -hmm. Dude, I need some grape slung. Oh yeah, I could go go for a grape slung so hard. Visible grapes all up in that. Oh man, look at this! That's cool. What is this? You got a Dino Man. Yeah. You got a dino it's like a man. Dino ostrich. An ostrich, if you will. <laughs> Which actually is the way I probably say it like 99% of the time. <sighs> so what are we doing? Uh, looks like I'm playing Mega Man 7 and we're just talking about whatever. It, it does. Mega Man 7 looks good, by the way. Uh, yeah, sure. Last time you were here, you played Mega Man One. It was like ass, and so and this looks good. I mean, hey, I it's mean, not Mega Man X. Well, I mean, it's it's a Super Nintendo game, and the other one was a like a mid generation NES game. So I would hope that it looked better. Just I'm just like like just the design is better, not just like graphically. Just like all the stuff looks like it was it was drawn by artists and not by. Nah, this this is this art style like really starts to come out in like Mega Man two and three like you see this kind of stuff a lot more. Oh really? Yeah. Okay. Um, again, it's a Mega Man ten. Huh? It's the Mega Man X. Oh, yeah. X is totally different from ten. I said X. X, before, X is actually X is like the 
sixth Mega Man game or something. Yeah. It was like one, two, three, four, and then like five and X came out at like the same time. Then there was like six and X2 and then seven. It got really weird. So this is like that weird, like they had X and X2. X was like the series where it was like, okay, we're on Super Nintendo now. We're going to make a Mega Man with all these kinds of like mechanics that wouldn't have been possible on the NES. And then this game, 7, is like the, okay, we're on Super Nintendo, but let's make a game that's faithful to the original series. So it's still, a lot of it kind of feels like an NES game, but it's on Super Nintendo. It's like one of those deals, you know what I mean? Yeah. Um, ooh, some slowdown. You can get some slowdown in there. Keith, it only had 16 bits. I know, it's not a lot of bits. I'm just, I would you like to say I'm not playing as good as I would be if I was just playing by myself. What is, yeah, oh, sure. Oh, hey, oh. let's play one of the games we've got to play. Do we have any more games to play? Like Dr. Mario? Oh, yeah. All right. Yeah, we'll play, we'll play some, some DRM. Well, I mean, I'm at the boss. So. <laughs> Do I even have any lives? For a second, I thought you were going to jump through that the wall there. Whoa, this, like, right here? No, no, no. When you this? do the, 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 wall, the wall part? This, the door? Yeah, that. I That's thought called you the weren't going to do that. But then you did. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so that's good. Watch out, it's Slash Man! Is this really what his name is? Yeah. I didn't even look. It's Slash Man. I'm starting to feel like these fucking... I'm starting to feel like these things aren't going to do any things. No, you did some stuff there. Oh, no, you didn't, actually. Never mind. I don't, I don't believe this is one of the more well-regarded Mega Man games. You what? I could be wrong. What? what? Did that do good? That seemed like it did good. That did. That did pretty good. You're, you're about to fucking die, though. I sure am. Ooh, we got a heat shield or something. Oh, no, it was goop on my head. Oh. Some sticky goop. I thought maybe it got a heat shield. One more life. Here we go. Let's see. All let's right, see but I got full health, so let's see it. Let's. Oh, you know what we got right here? <coughs> this fucking shit. What is it? It's some kind of like super mega armor thing. That sounds it's nice. Like, it's like Mega Man goes Super Saiyan, I think. Ah! Yeah, now what? Now what do you got? I don't know. Jetpack, I guess. Oh, that's cool. I like that. Jetpack! Ah, fuck. Now, when you get killed, do you go back to full health of your other suit? No. Fuck that. Yeah. That's rough. All right, let's play that other thing. All right. 